Okay, hello everybody. Um, my name's Colin James. I am the operations manager at Plymouth's Energy from Waste Facility. So, so what we do here is we take in your waste, taking Plymouth's waste and, and surrounding areas. Uh, we incinerate it, and from that we produce electrical and heat energy. Fantastic. And um, so, what activities are involved in in you physically doing your job? Okay, so our facility is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so we need shift teams on site. And what I do is I manage these shift teams. And this consists of 12 operators and three engineers. And they're maintaining the power plant, if you like, and making sure that it runs efficiently um, and properly and safely. Fantastic. Okay. And... Um... The big question really now is, how did you actually get into this job? Um, when I left school, I joined the Royal Navy. I had a few cousins in the Navy and they convinced me to join the Navy. And I was quite into engineering. I quite like engineering. Um, so I joined as an engineer when I was 17. <clears throat> and it went from there, really. Um, I was in the Navy 14 years. Um, after I left the Navy, I then joined this company, MVV, as an assistant shift team leader. Um, and that meant I was doing rounds, walking around all the machinery, um, checking for leaks, vibration, noise, making sure everything was running correctly. Uh, then got promoted to a shift team leader, which meant I was actually operating, start and stopping the equipment and, and running the plant. And then a couple of years ago, got promoted again to um, operations manager, which is where I am now. Cool. If you can cast your mind back just a few years, I'm sure, uh, to when you were at school, um, what qualifications and subjects did you study? OK, um, in school, I studied electronics. It was, was one of my one of the things I studied. Um, I think I got a D in electronics, if I can remember that far back. Um, maths, I got a B. Science, a C. And English, I actually got a D. Um, and the rest of the subjects, business studies, it was, it was mainly around C's, C's, C grade I got on the rest of the subjects. OK, so you said you were in the Navy and you've been with MVV for um, some time. Um, what kind of uh, on job training and development have you had since you were kind of embarked on an engineering uh, career? So the difference with the Navy is, you know, some people go to college, university or, or sixth form. And the difference with the Navy is I joined, did a basic training package uh, to become a sailor. Then I did an 18 week engineering course. Um, and then you get put on a ship. And on that ship, you do on the job training, basically. So it, a, bit, a bit like a tool carrier to begin with, carrying the, the chief engineer's tools. Um, and then slowly, as you learn the jobs, you become trusted then to, to do the jobs. And so, so it's on the job training. You're, you're always learning every day. You're learning the, the different jobs, and different engineering tasks. Fantastic. And um, so if you were going to give some advice to somebody, what kind of personal qualities would you be looking for in that person to do your kind of job? Um. I think that there's a, there's a few different qualities. I think I think if you, I mean, I, I as a as a kid used to look at things and wonder how they worked. You know, look at the dishwasher, look at the cooker. How how does it work? How how does them parts move? Um, quite an inquisitive mind, really. So that, that that's one skill. Um, another thing I think is communication. You, you know, if you can. Talk, talk as well as listen to people listen to what what you're being taught and process it and then ask questions about it is quite a good skill for an, for an engineer because you're always discussing you're always communicating with other people on how to repair defects and how to fix things and make things better okay okay and um so if we kind of look at your job overall what would you say were the key challenges of your job as an engineer Challenges. Some people think challenges are a negative thing. As an engineer, engineers love challenges. They love to be 
it challenged because it means that that thing's hard. It means it's not easy to do. It means you've got to really think. You've got to get together with people and think, how can we overcome this challenge? How can we make this machine better? How can we get it working again? So the, the key challenges really are, in my role, is the vast amount of engineering. So I deal with documentation, drawings in engineering, uh, machines, electronics, and it's about putting the right people in the right place with the right skills to, to overcome their challenges and working with them people to overcome their challenges. Okay, fantastic. And um, so what the, what's the reward in your job? Different types of rewards, really. Um, on an engineering side, you know, when something's broken and you come in in the morning and you get together with your team and you discuss how you're going to fix it. And at the end of the day, when you switch that button and that motor turns, it's a really good feeling that, you know, everybody's got together and, and fixed it. And the other side is the is the personnel side, really, where, you know, you're working with other people and you can see other people grow and, and their experiences and, and knowledge in engineering improve. Fantastic. And so you've got a young person stood in front of you. What advice would you give them in trying to embark on your kind of career? Um, I'd say persevere. Um, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy. Nothing is in life and um, persevere and yes you will have challenges yes exams are hard things are difficult but persevere with it think of where you want to be in a few weeks a few months ahead you know and work hard where you are now to, to achieve them goals and to get to that point and and you will you know if you don't if you don't pass the first time it doesn't matter you can always try again you know, as long as you learn by your mistakes, you will improve and you will always get better. That's pretty inspiring stuff. That's good news. And so that, we're coming to the last question now and um, just going to ask you a very simple question, really. What gets you out of bed in the morning after all this time doing this job? What inspires you to kind of get out and go out there and do the job? I think, I think it's the people. I, I think, you know... You work with the, the, these different people every day and they've got different ideas. And every time you come to work, there's, there's different ideas, different things broken. There's different things to do. It, it's, in engineering, it's never the same day. You're not going to the same office. You're always doing something different. Every day is different. And, and that's the best thing because you don't know what's going to happen that day. Cool. Thank you very much indeed for your time uh, and getting involved in this project. And uh, thanks very much. Mm -hmm.